Hello and welcome to web learning where knowledge is shared. In today's video, I'll continue and show you how you can debug the STM32 using a Raspberry. Like before, I'm using a Raspberry Pi Zero, but this time I'm using it also as a complete debugger. And it's co directly connected between the Pi Zero and the nuclear board, complete with power. The pinouts are from the Pi Zero, GPIO 18 for the end reset. Then we have a ground then GPIO24 for the SWIO, the SWD clock is GPIO25. I made a small list, you have here the pin name, the PI, and the nuclear board. The other pin that I have is the 5 volt to power the nuclear board. On the nuclear board, we're connecting to E5V for the power, then we have N reset is pin 14, then we have pin 13 for the SWD, and PA14 pin 15 for the clock. Those are all the pins. As you can see, we have the 5 volts connected to E5V and the rest of the pins as marked in the chart. Now the two other things you have to remember to do is remove those two jumpers if the nuclear board is still connected because those two jumpers are connecting between the ST-Link on the top to the microcontroller at the bottom and there is also this jumper that you need to move to the left. That switches between E5V or U5V. The U5V is the USB power, the E5V is the external power. To set up the Raspberry, go ahead and look at the right corner of the screen. This is the previous video that I made. You can see exactly how I have formatted the SD card and how I was able to connect to it without using any other keyboards or cables or screen. After I'm connected to the Raspberry, we need to install Open OCD to do apt get install open ocd yes okay this finished let me clear the screen now we need to go to cd slash user share open ocd scripts interfaces as you can see this is a fresh install so i don't have the open ocd configuration sudo nano openocd.cfg let me copy the previous openocd configuration that I was using but this one we need to tweak it a bit before I change it let me just check which is the correct interface that I want to use because I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi Zero I'm going to use this configuration so the Raspberry native configuration we can delete this line, this is not needed. This is really important because I want to connect over Wi-Fi. The source, as before, I'm using the L0. It's the same demo board that I'm always using. So I'm going to leave this as it is, and the rest is fine. So the only thing we needed to change is the actual interface that before we used the USB, now we're using the native connection. Okay, we can exit this file because there is nothing else that we need to change. So control X, yes, and enter. Now we need to edit the Raspberry Pi native. So again, sudo nano raspi minus native. Here we need to configure which pins are we using in order to control the SM32. Now we're not going to use the JTAG, so we can comment this out. We do need to use the GPIOs that we set. So 24, 25, 7, and 18. Let's copy this at the bottom. We're going to add those three lines. So for the SWD, we use pins 25 and 24. For the T reset, we use 7. And for the S reset, that's 18. Okay, so as this is the first time I'm doing this, let's see if it works. Let me exit. Yes for save and enter. So control X to exit. Let's clear this. Let's do op sudo open OCD. And it's running. Let's see that it opened all the connections. You see it opened up 666 and 444. If we look back at the output, we can see that SW clock is pin 25 and SWIO it's pin 24 and S reset is pin 18. I have here an error. I'm not sure if it'll work or not, but we'll try it. And everything else looks fine. Let's see if it works. So we'll go back to the Cube IDE. We'll do a quick project as before. 
let's compile this Okay, let's see if this connects. We'll go to the debug, debug configuration, double click, debugger, open OCD, connect to debugger. This is this time 192.168.2.119. If we look back again, we have uh, port 444 open. So let's try to connect to this port instead of 333. Let's see if this works. Okay, so it's not working. Let's go back to the configuration and see what's going on. Let's control C. So the ports are closed now. Let's look at this configuration. Now I read online somewhere that I need to comment this out also. Let's do control S for save, control X to exit. Let's try to run this again, sudo open OCD. So it's not seeing ever, even something connecting or it does see accepting telnet connection, but it's not telnet. So we need to have port 333 open. So give me a second and let me see what's going on. Okay, so maybe third time a charm. I saw that I also need to do transfer select SWD. Maybe that will open another interface. So control X, yes to save, enter and sudo open ocd now i'm getting less errors that i had before let's check the connection yes that's the reason so here port 333 is open good so that's what was missing so let's go back here to debug configuration debugger 3333 apply and debug now we can see that the light stopped blinking because we're already connected and let's see if we can run this and yes the light is flashing let's uh, pause this and let's exit and let's uh, do step over yes and it's working as you can see, there is nothing, everything goes over Wi-Fi, and it works. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, click the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.